A state and federal government standoff is threatening the multi-billion dollar expansion of a bauxite mine on Cape York. The state government wants the project fast-tracked, but the federal government is demanding more information about the environmental impact. Rio Tinto wants to spend $1.5 billion expanding its bauxite mine near Weeper, extending operations for 40 years. The state government's right behind them. This is the way we earn the money to build the roads and the schools and the hospitals that all of us need. But the project can't go ahead without federal approval and there's concern about the Great Barrier Reef. At the moment there are a very large number of projects in the pipeline which involve increased shipping through the Great Barrier Reef area and I'm going to make sure that everything is assessed properly. The state government says the current approval system is wasting time and money, accusing its federal counterparts of delaying without good reason. The figures that I've seen uh, would, would indicate there's going to be a very small increase in the, in the number of sh ships through the Great Barrier Reef. The Queensland government might want to ignore the Great Barrier Reef. We're not prepared to. That's hardly hardly too much of an ask. Environmental groups say the region is being considered for World Heritage listing and both governments have a responsibility to protect it. We've just seen last weekend uh, in Queensland the dangers of increased shipping through the Great Barrier Reef, the threats that that uh, represents to the environment. So to pretend that this isn't even an issue is just ludicrous. We as a government can't afford to ha adopt an anti-everything uh, stance, otherwise the Queensland economy would collapse. The federal government says Rio Tinto is reassessing the project's shipping movements. Stephanie Smale, ABC News.